What's going on you guys? This is part three of a four part series on how I won a classic challenge with Lava Loon. If you guys enjoy, I totally recommend going to check out those other videos. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy also. But otherwise, let's get right into this gameplay. All right, so going into this match, this was my seventh match of the tournament. So me and this guy are both running Lava Loon decks actually, except me and him have one difference. I have Inferno Dragon and he has Mega Minion. But I honestly think my deck is a bit better just because the Inferno Dragon obviously helps take out the tanks compared to just having barbs to help take out tanks. So you guys can see me and him both go barbs just to cycle and get the evos out. So I really think this match could have went better. It, it was like kind of like a 50-50 though. The fact that I had Inferno Dragon really did help me because he was running Lava Hound and he didn't have Inferno Dragon to counter my Lava Hound. And I had my Inferno Dragon to counter his. So you guys can see the Lava Hound goes in with the Skeleton Dragon behind it. I just got some extra damage off the Skeleton Dragon. And I believe I voided here. Or I waited a bit and then voided. I'm not sure. I know I did void. Yeah, there goes the void. Just to kill, help kill the Skeleton Dragons. And I arrow just to kill them fully. Now the Lava Hound or Lava Pups actually ended up taking out the Mega Minions. So that's pretty good for me. And then you guys can see the Inferno Dragon goes down to kill the Lava Hound. It does end up killing it. And then the other Dagger Duchess on the left side ends up helping out with the Lava Pups. So that's good. Now, I believe me and him both pull Evo Barbs here or something along those lines. Or, oh no, I know what happens here. I think he goes Evo Barbs on the left with Balloon and then I just mess up, I think. Yeah, I, I completely mess up because he places that stuff and I placed my Bomber like at the exact same time pretty much. Like maybe a second after, but my reaction time was just not that good there. And his Balloon ends up actually getting connected to my tower. That is terrible for me. Even though our towers are basically now at the same health, I basically just lost so much health for no reason when I could have played my bomber. I could have just waited one extra second to place my bomber instead of um, placing it in the back, but I just did that just to cycle. But you know what? It's alright because we still won this match in the end. So he goes Lava Hound in the back. That's well played by him because with Lava Hound, you really just want to keep applying pressure. So I just did the same thing on the other side because I didn't want to place my Lava Hound in the back and make his get to my tower first. So, and then him having stuff to back up his Lava Hound. So you get to see the Inferno Dragon goes down on his Lava Hound. He didn't back anything up so I know that Inferno Dragon can kill it just fine. And my Lava Hound gets some good damage and the Balloon before got some good damage on his tower. He places Balloon. He has Mega Minion, Skeleton Dragon. I play Skeleton Dragon and I had Bomber there just to kill the Barbs and help with the Balloon. Now I had to go Inferno Dragon up front just because the Mega Minion uh, was going to hit the tower at least once. Plus the Skeleton Dragon would have hit the tower too. It might have hit the tower with the splash damage. I'm not too sure. But you guys can see I went Barbs here just to attract the Mega Minion. And so I would be able to use the Void on that Lava Hound. Now I could do the arrows. I, Oh yeah, I did arrows other side. I'm so stupid. I forgot this was countdown i honestly didn't even have to do arrows the other side but i wanted to be sure just because of his barb or just because my barbs were making their way but um god forbid he did play something so you guys could see i have a pretty decent push on the right side here i believe i go lava hound on the left side with yeah i go balloon on the left side then i think i go lava hound in the pocket yeah there it goes in the pocket and then this was an amazing push by me because you guys could see my tower is 591 health and I just completely melt his tower. I use the void to kill his mega minion. When you use your when you use your spells with uh, cards like Golem or Lava Hound, you really utilize the card really well. And then that ends up winning me the match. All right, so going into this next match, I believe this guy's name is trying to be like Kermit or something. I'm not too sure, but this guy is running RG or Evo RG, Evo Valkyrie. Then he has LP and Mega Knight. I don't think he has Evo Tesla. No, he has normal Tesla, I believe. But I voided that uh, firecracker just to get a positive electric trade and then get some damage. Or, well, it's equal electric trade and get some damage on the tower. He places Valkyrie in the back, so I go skeletons, skeleton dragons in the back. I believe I go bomber or something like that just to help out, just to cycle. I could be wrong. Me, don't you know who I am? Yeah, there goes the bomber. So he goes Tesla. That's actually really good for me because now I know he has a Tesla and that Tesla isn't there to bait my balloon or bait my Lava Hound or anything. Even though I placed the Lava Hound on the same side, Lava Hound does move super slowly. So you do guys, so you do have to keep that in mind if you uh, play Lava Hound because his Tesla was half health. Now it's a quarter health and my Lava Hound isn't even in reach of it yet. So that's what I'm talking about when I say that. I believe I go, yeah, I, there goes the arrows just to kill his... Um, 
firecracker because now he doesn't have anything to really help out kill my lava hound even though the lava hound does super slow damage it does damage every two hits it does around 100 so he places the tessa and then i avoid the tessa once again he doesn't have a lot of stuff to protect the lava hound he places little prince that is well played by him i don't have anything to kill the little prince now i don't even think the void would have killed it if it wasn't reach so the little prince is walking up you guys or you guys can't see but he has three elixir right now i have eight elixir this is insane because i just made him waste so much elixir trying to defend and overly committing his defense well not even overly overly committing just i was just having major positive elixir trades there with the tesla in my void spell so i placed the barbs on his royal giant obviously because i want to kill it immediately i could have done inferno dragon 2 there if it was my hot bar on my i wasn't looking but my evo barbs make a connection they get some really good damage and but he places mega knight a little bit late but i believe he had to do that just because he doesn't have a lot of elixir compared to me because i have so many cards down on the arena right now and he doesn't have that many so he actually zapped my inferno dragon and the mega knight made a connection that's really well played by him but i did end up taking that tower so i go lava hound on the bottom left because with lava hound decks you want to keep applying pressure as much as you could because the defense is decent but it is really predictable if they are able to like fireball um zap and arrows or anything your barbs so it is really predictable so you always want to try to be pushing if you do have the elixir to do so so he goes firecracker on the left side i ended up avoiding that firecracker obviously just to deal the damage and just kill it in case he goes like uh anything on the right side that kills my tower i do get it to the left side here just immediately and then i get the barbs up and then i just place another lava hound for fun even though i'm not going to take the tower so this was a really good matchup even though he did have tesla and uh firecracker all right so going into this next match this match is versus izel nova i believe the name is so this guy is also using evo royal giant but this guy is using evo tesla as well and wizard so this is kind of a bad matchup for me because evo tesla and wizard are really bad cards to be versing when you have uh anything like lava hound and balloon or anything that goes behind a big health troop so i go barbs on his royal giant obviously just to kill it once again i could have gone inferno dragon but i just went barbs just to cycle him too so his tesla ends up being out of range i believe right there so that's really good that's why most people play their lava hound on the bottom left or bottom right because if they place anything in the middle like tesla it doesn't get attracted and the tesla will be out of range as well so i go balloon behind the lava hound just to immediately deal some good damage to that tower and i avoid that wizard i believe he messed up his void play right there so that was kind of bad by him so his fisherman makes his way makes his way to my tower, but it does no damage. It just ends up hooking it. And my lava hound of loot obviously took his tower. So this is a really good start for me. My towers are super high of health right now. So this means I can pretty much just push and just keep trying to push and keep trying to just drill my way into his towers. Because obviously, like I said before, you want to be trying to apply as much pressure as you can with lava hound. So he goes. Uh, monk in the back his monk is making his, making his way across the bridge i go inferno dragon because his monk doesn't deflect the inferno dragon's uh damage and it does massive damage so it does even good damage when the monk has like massive damage reduction so i just go barbs just to help kill that royal giant as well just because my inferno dragon will be killing it but i want it just to kill it faster and this also leads to a pretty big counter push so i avoid his wizard because his wizard obviously will take out my barbs and my inferno dragon and i wanted to keep at least some of that stuff alive so i did keep the inferno dragon alive even though i didn't get the barbs that's still all right by me he has like pretty much nothing to defend here he has tesla and void in his hot bar but that's not enough he would need something like wizard or something like that even then it still wouldn't be a lot so i go bomber in the back and then i go lava hound again in the back just to apply even more pressure just to make sure this guy pretty much can't defend or can't attack whatsoever and even if he does attack the right side i am pretty much gonna get i'm like guaranteed the tower on the right side as well so i go inferno dragon and barbs just to kill that royal giant he goes void and wizard to kill my lava hound though his wizard or no i went void on his wizard to kill his wizard then he goes evo tesla that's well played by him but the placement was a bit iffy right there he could have waited a bit until my lava pups came out but there's no way he was winning this match anyways so i like there's no real coaching any anything right there honestly because he would have just lost anyways so ending right here you guys can see i just go lava hunt and skeleton dragons and we ended up winning this match i say good game well played and then i think i say good luck as well
Yeah, that's the usual good game. Well played. Good luck. I hope you guys enjoyed this third part of this four part series on how I won a classic challenge with Log Bay and Lava Hound. If you guys enjoyed this, like I said before, I totally recommend checking out the other videos. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day, you guys. Thank you.